Greetings YouTube. Today I thought I'd talk about a couple of other walking sticks I have. First of all, I have this one, which in case I ever want to do like a pimp look, um, I can use because it is clear lucite. Um, I picked this up at a, uh, at, a, at a thrift shop for like three bucks. I had to buy it. I was just like, I gotta own a clear plastic cane. I have no idea if I'm ever gonna use it for anything, but I thought it was pretty kind. Pretty cool. Made me smile. Right. Next, we're going to show off this one. Now, this was made by hand by an old friend of mine. And um, please ignore the blue tape. It's markings I'm using for something, another video series. Um, so the first thing people are going to say, well, it's a piece of bamboo. And you are correct. It is a piece of bamboo. Um, which means they're going to say that, you know, well, it's not going to be strong enough. You know, well, that it would be <laughs> not true because going down the entire length of this particular um, walking stick is a threaded rod. You can probably see a couple of the threads right there, and that's the tip of the rod, which has been sharpened to, um, to a point. Uh, so there is actually a steeled rod going down the entire length of this, and it was put in place. Um, when it was put in place, it was used, my buddy used uh, epoxy as a lubricant, so the entire inside of this thing is loaded with epoxy. Um, so yes, it's very stable. It's never coming apart. Um, you'd have to take a, a hammer or a, a, a pliers to get that coating off. Um, so it's never gonna go anywhere. And uh, the brass is there mostly for accents. Now, this is the important part. This is the part that um, is really kind of cool. And yes, that is a real whale's tooth. Now, before anyone gets all, oops, let me turn this around so it's a little bit, a little bit more square. Um, before anyone gets all upset, this whale's tooth was harvested in the 19th century. So it was harvested long before um, there were any kind of protection laws concerning um, sea mammals. So I have not violated any laws, and this was done long before those laws were in place. Um, in addition, that is a piece of carnelium. Um, set into it so you have a nice accent and I think it goes well with the color of the shaft. My buddy set that in there um, very carefully drilling out the holes in the in the ivory tooth and then epoxying the whole thing in place so that it's not going anywhere. Um, and this because of the shape of this this is really geared towards a right-handed carry which is fine for me because I happen to be right-handed and the knee I have that doesn't work well is on my right side. So. Um, I actually have used this in the past when my knee's been in particularly bad shape. Um, I haven't had to use it in a few years, that's nice. Uh, and I have used it occasionally just when I'm taking a hike somewhere. Um, now I've been using the uh, walking stick that I made out of a golf club because it's incredibly light and it's longer um, and it, uh, it, it's really effective. Uh, but I thought folks might find it interesting to see a couple more of my walking sticks. Um, one which is just you know, for fun because it's clear lucite and then this one which is a little bit more serious and looking and um, a little more artistic handmade um, and I, th I find it uh, visually interesting because of the fact that it is using a whale's tooth um, something you don't see every day any longer uh, I actually have a knife, I have a dagger somewhere a knife rather, I don't think it's a dagger, it's, it's a knife, it has ivory grips and the grips were harvested from, uh, of course, from, from elephants, but they were, they were harvested from in the 1930s. So, yeah, again, before the environmental laws were in place. So, there you go, folks. These have been two of my walking sticks that I thought you might find interesting.